Yeah. It's my birthday! Wait, you're saying your teeth. <laughs> the eight best moments of my 18th year. I wanted to do 10, but I could only come up with eight. And so then I thought I would just go with it. So right after I turned 18 last year, I graduated high school, which was a really exciting time. You know, I got to have a real high school graduation, unlike many high schoolers right now, um, which was, you know, very momentous, exciting tradition, uh, decorated my cap, you know, all those good things. Um, and, but honestly, the bigger moment to me was my little cousin promoted from elementary school, which was really exciting. I know, like, elementary school, yeah, isn't everybody leaves elementary school, but it was still, you know, it really showed him growing up and getting older, and it was exciting to be there. And it was so cute, and they all sang a song, and it was amazing. And, you know, he worked really hard, and got to move forward and you know was really starting to become a young man and oh god man don't make this shit about tyler it's about you okay i couldn't come up with uh that so wait wait your 10 best moments of the year is watching your it's, okay the next one is my sister, little cousin my sister graduated neighbor. from elementary school so eat that come on i couldn't come up with anything Okay, well, I feel like you could have, you should have just made it shorter then. My sister graduated um, from college, which I know she wants us to be about me, but like that was a really great trip because, you know, it was really exciting for her to graduate college. But more importantly, like my whole family went. It was a very, you know, fun time. Uh, I love going down to LA to visit her. But yeah, and I made a video about it, so you should watch that. Uh, my grandfather turned 90 this year and I got to go visit him and we had a really big paella making party with my family on the East Coast. That was so much fun. I also made a video about that. I love going out there and getting to see all my extended family. One of the definitely by far the biggest things that happened to me this year was getting my service dog Nicola. Nicola has without a doubt changed my life. If you don't know her, you're missing out because she's the best. Canine Companions for Independence is an amazing organization that I've actually 
from getting Nicola have gotten to work with more. In 2019, I was able to raise like $90,000 or something crazy like that uh, with a campaign that I did with Nicola um, about our story. And um, it was sent to a lot of different places and a lot of people donated and it was really awesome. And it, that was like very monumental moment of my year. It was great to give back and help an organization that has helped me and give, given me so much. My LA Times article coming out was, I don't think that'll have been like, that'll be one of the biggest things that happened in my 18th year, but it'll also be one of the biggest things that happened in my life um, or in my childhood. The LA Times article really changed things because I got to connect with so many people from around the United States and the world who heard my story and wanted to introduce themselves to me, which is so cool, or help me in some way, or just show me support. Amy Gold, the, the writer of that article, and the LA Times have really changed my life and allowed me to do so many things that I never really thought I'd be able to do. Uh, leading to my next biggest moment, which would be moving into Stanford and like starting school, and that, my experience while well, my year was cut short because of you know coronavirus i have never like i've had the best school year of my entire life living independently is a feeling like no other i feel like i'll i'll never forget like i'd walk to class every day and i would just be overwhelmed with this feeling of like gratefulness and I would just always be in awe of the fact that of in awe of all the opportunities that I have and all the chances that I'm given and I just I I, I can't believe the position that I am and I, and I can't believe that I get these opportunities and I'm so grateful for them and you know even doing class online you know isn't what I want to be doing but I'm still so lucky and I can't wait if you know, I don't get to go back to campus in the fall, like I'm excited to continue learning and making the best of it. Uh, lastly, this is definitely the biggest thing that I did in, in my 18th year is that I knitted my first scarf. And it, you know, wasn't that pretty, but I've worked really hard and I will always have a really dear place in my heart. Um, I'm so grateful for my life and for the people that are in it and for my family and my friends and the opportunities that I have and I my life has changed so much in the last year and I just you know I'm I'm really happy like this has definitely been the happiest year of my life no doubt starting college was really hard but I'm still so much happier than I ever thought I'd be at this time in my life and yeah thank you for watching and for I don't know I love you okay bye